word up, colour to colour, uh, pin to pin, colour to pin to pin. Okay, now I'll just put the casing around it and then connect it up. And so I've just fit a clamp, goes over the front, so I'll just tie that down just a bit. Kind of like making a, I suppose one of those, um, what do you call it, scart lead. Uh, the little screws that go down the side here. So just put thumb to hold the screw, uh, the nut in place, and then just uh, wind it down, and it'll thread on. So that's closed. Okay, put the screws in here. Is hold the uh, hold the DV twenty five in in place. Okay, I'll see if it works. Goes kaboom. Edward, oh, moment of truth. I've got to take the mains off the line. That's right. Creation. Scotty. You are awesome. Yeah, so if I mute the CP processor, put unmute it. Yeah, and the sound fades up slowly. So it's probably on. Um, like most CP, uh, or uh, I'm not sure if the SCDS does it, I think it does. Um, it does a very slow, um, does a very sort of slow um, uh, fader, you know, sort of like um, typically when they do masking, changing, aspect ratio, aperture plate and all that. And sound format and you know you, you know when a show's just uh but um you know going from trailer to uh, feature and then you do a mute or such or typically that would be done in the uh days of 35 but i doubt that very little you know but sometimes it's it may be required uh but yeah um i'll just have to uh run the pink noise now uh see what see what goes on Stand by photon torpedoes. Yeah, and it works on the remote. Um, yeah. So there's time delay added, so I'm just going to take that off. So I don't need it. At any time delay, it's already been added into the system, so... Captain's log, stardate. 8130.3 Starship Enterprise on training mission to Gamma Hydra, Section 14 Coordinates 2287 4 Approaching neutral zone All systems normal and functioning Oh, this will take a while to because it's such a small screen with the, uh, the layout and I hate this I hate this bloody um, I need to connect my actual Captain, wireless mouse, but um, that's connected to, so I'm not messing around. 
Got to persevere. That's... This is the Starship Enterprise. Your message is breaking up. Can you give us your coordinates? Repeat, this is the Starship... Our position is Gamma Hydra, Section 10. In the neutral zone. I don't need the microphone input yet. That's not connected. So, formats here. I've got to just check through to see where the formats, but this will take a while, so I haven't got video recording time for this, so... Uh, maybe a live video. Estimating two minutes to enter. It's, um, it's very slow, tedious. Now entering the neutral zone. This needs to be on a larger screen, so we are now in violation of I can navigate a mouse around it a bit quicker. It's a dial di dialogue normalization here. Slowing to one half impulse power. Yeah, I notice a change in sound there. Sir, may I quote General Order 12 on the approach of any vessel when communications have not been established? It's located over here. The Admiral is well aware of the regulations. I see. Is it possible that comm system has failed? It would explain a great many things. They're requesting communication, sir. Okay. Let them eat static. They're still running with shields down. Of course, we are one big happy fleet. Ah, Kirk, my old friend. Do you know the Klingon proverb that tells us revenge is a dish that is best served cold? So I've got it is very cold. just the. Uh... EQ levels back to uh, their normal position because I might use the equalizer, you know, just to see. But I use the um, any EQ that's done, it's mostly done down on the DCX uh, to get the speakers' um, frequency response pretty close. And that's with microphones placed uh, close near, near to the projection screen. Okay. Um, so alignment warning entering alignment mode will interrupt theater sound. Okay. That's okay. Um I should be able to output some pink noise even if the microphone's not connected I'm just having the gas alright there we go pink noise it's going out on center and there's a little check up here I guess if I uncheck it right yeah I can put that on alright oh, I can't do all of them at the same time okay uh, usually I could do the REM like that, I can output through the uh, multi-stereo mode through the Denon. But I can tell that pink noise tone there is a little bit out of place. And uh, also the levels are all, you know, they've got to be readjusted. Okay, my surrounds are working. Okay, my surrounds are working. Sub base is working. Okay. 
so that's that's okay. Um, left backs around, right. Uh, let's see. Sure, if that's going to enable. Uh, that's enabling here, but uh, I'm going to signal. Uh, fine, on. I'm on the. Am I on the right one? No, I'm not. Oh no! Oh no! I know. I know why I'm not getting the signal out because um. Um, any extra backs around I think um, I'm going to have to do another wiring on the, um, the SDDS so um, just trying to remember um, one, two, three, four all right uh, I have to put it on auxiliary. Yeah. I have to do some extra wire and I have to go at the back and that's going to... I'll do that maybe tomorrow or day after. Just want to take a break, but that's okay. Um, I know the pink noise is outputting on it. Um, but it's not connected, even though it is connected. The, um, the eight channels are all going... Uh, on auxiliary two, so left, center, right. Oh, hang on, wait a second, wait a second. Am I getting pink noise there? Hang on, let me turn the. Hang on, I think it's up here. I'm seeing it. I'm just blind as a bat at the moment. Hang on, let me just switch channel output. Go to the next one. Ah, oh, right, right. It's going on my. Um, Left center, right center. Um, yeah, it's going on my left center, right center. Uh, I know when I'm in this mode on the auxiliary one, I know when I'm in at auxiliary one, and if I want to use the five screen um, through the other yeah, decoder. Um, okay, so if I go there, auxiliary, um, bu -bu -bu boom. The output, the output, um, hang on, I've just, just got to think here for a sec. Yeah, just get, that pink noise is going directly over to my right center. And it's going over to my left center on the uh, screen channels. So I've got to do some next, I've got to do some uh, special wiring at the back. Uh, so the signal uh, will go to the, um, um, it's got to go down onto here and then um, it's got to connect onto either um, I think it's auxiliary number one yeah yeah I've sussed it so I've got to connect onto I've got to take the wiring um, actually it's kind of undoing it what I've already done <laughs> um, and kind of extending the wiring. Uh, that's just that's a that's a dog's dinner. That's going to make it a dog's dinner. That is. Um, I'd have to kind of sleep on it and think about it. But it's an easy thing to do. All I've got to do is just piggyback the wires uh, down to uh, down to auxiliary number two, to auxiliary number one on my other SDDS processor. That's it's okay. That's okay. Okay, that's sussed out. Oh, I'm just looking at the, the the channel levels here. They're so very low down on the... Um, so obviously this was used uh, uh, as a 6 channel and 5-1 uh, and 7-1 surround. Uh, I'm not sure what cinema it came from. Um, so, is there, can you, no, I can't just double click that. Um, got to set the levels back to kind of uh, what is, 
default. Um, that down to zero. Okay. That down to zero. Okay. Use the arrow key. All oh, right. Okay. Use the arrow key. On the. That's in one. Zero one DB steps. Okay. So do that, turn that there. Go back at zero. This is why I had to get the uh, the processor connected with the uh, the software. <laughs> Because I knew, I knew the, uh, I knew instantly the, the levels were all going to be adjusted uh, to a previous cinema. Still on the other one. Click. Okay. Uh, where's the uh, sub? Uh, where's the sub channel out? So I'll come across it. Uh, uh, it's other tone generators here. 100 hertz. Uh, One kilohertz. 10,000 kilohertz. Uh, pink noise and thump. Okay. So turn that off. Channel tune. Okay. Because there's no microphone connected, it's not going to, um, you know, um, <clears throat> um, um, take about, uh, oh. Don't take long because it's phantom powered. And all I have to do is just, uh, it's too bad I can't stick my hand down the, uh, <laughs> I can't get it down, otherwise, I'll be able to get the lead in there and fundle it around and then think, oh, that's it, and then push the XLR in. Otherwise, I've got to pull the rack out, the whole, the whole rack out, and get behind, uh, um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a big deal. Really, this is a this is a big deal. This is the X curve. Um, so uh, it's kind of a big deal. So I'll just to so that put all this EQs because it's already been adjusted. But, um, you know, so. It's like uh, anything in a cinema processor. The last processor in the in the in the sound chain link uh, would be used for the EQ. Um, that's why I don't use the Odyssey. If I used anything like that, and by the time the sound, by the time the time that signal gets down to the uh, decoders down here, down here for the uh, five screen, the the frequency and the, the level and everything will be all completely messed up. It'll be all skewed up. And then the the uh, the decoder is going to think that, hmm, there's something imbalanced there. This is a total shamble. It's a mess. It's, uh, you know, it's all the levels got to be the same. So you've got to default everything. Um, and then the EQ is done afterwards. 
and then it passes on to the um, uh, to the crossover to the THX sound system and then to the speakers or oh, sorry to the amplifiers speakers <clears throat> So I'll just put all these, uh, I think there might be a, a reset button here, I'm guessing. Or just press flat. No. Or con ah, continue. And then it's just suddenly, boom, put all the EQ filters back to flat position. A bit similar to the, like the Sony SDDS. Uh, also a bit similar to the CB500. Where, um, for one, I just put all the EQ filters back to flat. Uh, I go just use the soft keys and put and then just enter and then just puts all the EQ filters back to flat and then you just start over again. Uh, whatever you're trying to, whatever's trying to be adjusted, uh, to get the tonality or. You know, each channel has got to sound the same. It can't be like, can't be like that. Otherwise, it'd be a it'd be a total mess. When it can't be like, ooh, ah, you know, in tone, it's got to be ooh, 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 ooh in the bass. It's got to be all the same all around. Otherwise, uh, the sound mix is not going to be really that brilliant on the playback. It takes quite. Um, in fact, that takes days it takes days to achieve it not not run odyssey and uh hey presto or run the rack hey presto it's done bullshit otherwise uh let me listen can i listen to the the bass channels on the speakers turn off the mid-range high range what let me listen to the characteristic of the bass it's not going to be you know and especially when you've got the microphone way back here in the uh, in the room, because the wavelengths and whatever's interfering, do it up, do it up close is what I do. I do it up close, test it, analyze, check the frequency curve, um, you know, with the crossover on the the, the base channel to see that it's got the same, you know, and then compare it with the next and the next and the next bit to see if it's got the same. If it's a little bit, you know, is you know, it's probably the speaker itself, and it's putting the frequencies up a little bit higher than so. I'll just use the parametric and bring those frequencies down, and then listen until the tone of the the bass sounds similar to the other speaker and the other, and so on. By the time it gets around to the surround, oh, that's where it gets more complicated. Mm. And don't forget the overhead and the blow surround. <laughs> Uh, sub bass as well mm, yeah get getting the tone on the sub bass because the, the frequency on the sub bass is already filtered <clears throat> um so you know if you if it you analyze the lfe you know compared to the um any one of the screen channels and uh if you take the uh the crop um I can turn the crossover on the den on and just turn it up to 250 hertz, you know. Um, not much is really going to go up that way. Um, movies, I think, when they were mixed years ago and then for 70 mil, the frequency curve or the, the specification then there for, was a little bit different. And then as it got into digital, everything changed, as well as extending the frequency range a bit more lower down. The specification could go down to this this limit and uh a little bit more higher up just a proportion higher up uh because 70 mil i think was 18 kilohertz digitals uh up to about twenty thousand. that's if you you can hear it your dogs cats and your pet bat well they'd obviously hear it but don't forget the frequency uh x curve you know every movie's mixed and they got an x curve so and then sometimes you see some high frequency boost that's going on in the, uh, you know. Uh, okay, there's a, there's a little thing up here, active channel. I'm just going to click. So I guess if I go right, 
Ah, uh, right. Okay, that brings up my right. Okay. So I'll just go flat. Continue. That puts everything right. Okay. Getting the hang of this process. I'm getting the hang of it. There's a pig's ear just to get this bloody thing connected to a, a computer, uh, uh, an operating system. But I'm getting the hang of it now. Um, continue, put that back flat, go to the surround, hmm, it's not really drastically, uh, too much, uh, yeah, can see, can see how it looks compared to the, um, the other cinema, it was last thing, it doesn't show up very clear here, because the, um, the screen's, um, can't because I've got the camera reversed so I can't get the um, maybe if I put it a bit closer I'm not sure if that shows up oh yeah just just about just about so uh, so I put that flat and continue boom that's flat I hate this bloody mouse or thing on this bloody computer. Oh, that's a little bit. Hmm. Not not too much, but okay. Flatten that. It's back to normal. Uh, let's have a look at the back surrounds. Don't think there was any adjustment there much. Hmm. Curious. I'll just flatten just in case there is. No. Okay, try the other one. Ah. Curious, maybe maybe they didn't use uh maybe the cinema didn't have Dolby Surround. Maybe they weren't using it um at the cinema. Otherwise it seems like a bit of a waste. Um <laughs> I don't know. Curious. Um LFE. Um uh, continue anyway. Um, let's have a look. Flatten. Um, no, just that. Flatten. Okay, right, gotcha. Okay, so. Okay. Took that down. And just go that flatten. But yeah, okay, gotcha. That's a tricky thing to. Yeah. Um, so just that my channel level use the arrow key okay there we go put that back to zero okay and got a pink noise, so if I output a pink noise, it's going to the, um, it's outputting there. So. Um, unmute. Yeah, so that's working. Okay, ah, that's pretty much done. So this is put back flat. Um, I'll just go back to you know. So I've got the X curve there. Um, flat continue. EQ assistant continue. Ooh, what do I do there? Uh huh. Okay, flatten. Ah, oh, right, gotcha. I think I activated some sort of filter, probably on the treble. It was probably the treble filter. Anyway, that's back more or less back where it is. 
Uh, maybe another video later.